AP, London, in a move that mirrored that of the US Federal Reserve and came before what was expected to be a similar step by European officials, the British Central Bank increased its benchmark interest rate again on Thursday but slowed the pace as inflation showed indications of dropping. The benchmark interest rate was increased by the Bank of England by 0.5 percentage points to 3.5%, the highest level in 14 years. It came after last month's enormous three-quarter point increase, the largest in 30 years, and was the ninth straight increase since December 2021. After statistics this week showed inflation dipped from a 41-year high, policymakers decided to take less drastic action this time around, but they nonetheless issued a warning that additional hikes are likely to follow. The bank stated that there are significant uncertainties around the outlook. The committee continues to evaluate that it will act aggressively as necessary if the outlook implies more sustained inflationary pressures. The Fed raised its benchmark rate by the same amount on Wednesday, and the Bank of England is the latest institution to follow suit. A day later, the Central Bank of Switzerland made a similar decision, and the European Central Bank is anticipated to do the same on Thursday. On Thursday, the Central Bank of Norway increased its benchmark interest rate by a quarter point. The Bank of England under additional pressure to achieve the correct balance because Britain's economic prognosis is worse than that of any other major economy, despite the fact that central banks throughout the world have been fighting to keep inflation under control. While businesses are under pressure to raise salaries to keep up with inflation amid a statewide wave of strikes by nurses, train drivers, postal workers, ambulance staff, and others, the high cost of food and energy is diminishing the purchasing power of British households. Inflation will peak at about 11% in the final three months of the year, up from 10.1% in September, according to a prediction made by the Bank of England last month. The bank's goal inflation rate of 2% should then start to decline within two years, it was predicted, starting next year. In general, inflation has reached its peak and will now continue to decline. At the Bank of England's headquarters, that will cause a sigh of relief, predicted Capital Economics chief UK economist Paul Dales. However, he warned that policymakers shouldn't relax because the British economy is proving resilient and wage growth is still robust. Therefore, Dales added, interest rates will still be raised further, but the bank will probably raise them at a slower rate, and they will end up at a lower level than anticipated.